Hi, I'm James with FLIR Systems. Today we're going to show you the out-of-the-box experience with a T1030SC infrared camera. You can see inside the box we have our new infrared camera, a docking charge station for our batteries, a couple of batteries, and a couple of boxes with accessories and a cable. We'll go ahead and remove the camera from the box here. You can see here's our very nice ergonomic design for our T1K with the uh, folding optic. And I can show you the screen here. And we'll power it up here in a minute. And then inside the accessories box, we see a power supply and cable for charging our battery charger. So we connect the power supply to the charger here. And we would actually put our battery inside the charging station here. It's important to note that you can also power the camera directly with the battery charger as long as you have a battery inside. And it will both charge the battery as well as power the camera. In the second accessories box, here we have a Bluetooth headset which allows you to add your own voice annotation if you're recording live imagery to, to the camera directly. And then its own power supply and power cable. Finally, we have an HDMI cable. This cable allows you to display data in real time to an HDMI television connected to the camera. Now, I've already charged this battery. When you purchase the camera out of the box, it won't already be charged, so you want to do that pretty early on. And I will insert the battery into the camera here. Make sure it snaps in. And then I'll go ahead and power it on. So while we wait for it to boot up, I will show you a couple of the accessory ports. So here, as I mentioned, is the USB 30 hertz streaming port. Here is the HDMI port for streaming to the television. The power port. And then this last port here is for connecting your high speed interface for 120 hertz frame rates to Research IR. Need to go ahead and remove my lens cap and I can see real-time imagery on my screen. Thanks for watching, and in the next segment, we'll talk about how to connect the camera to the high-speed interface port to research IR.